remember uh, green ash, right? Hope you do, right? If I were to give this right here as a quiz, opposite compound leaf, brown buds, I, I would hope you would put green ash. Right? You'd be wrong because it's white ash. And that's what we're doing today. And there, here's we can do it like this. You know, everything we told you about green ash, it's the same. Just like American nope. beach, European beach. So we have to focus on, okay, so how am I going to tell it apart? And the way you need to tell it apart is there's two, two major things that, in my experience, kind of will hold up. They're very similar. Okay, here you can have that one too. We're going to be looking at the, the leaf scar. And you're like, well, wait a minute. I need to be to have the twig for the leaf scar. If you look at the end of the petiole, you're looking at a leaf scar, right? Mm -hmm. Just the other side of it. See? So I can pass those out. And on a big tree in the woods, you're going to want to pick them up and look at the end of the rachis, at the, where the leaf scar would be. Because here's how you tell them apart. The white ash, the lateral bud, sits down in the leaf scar. And so the leaf scar, take a look at yours now, is kind of a very big grin. Like a, the Cheshire cat, smiling grin. That's in white. The leaf scar on green ash, which you probably weren't even looking at because you didn't need to, right? Why bother with those details, right? Because all you had was ash, and it was always green till now. It's oval. The bud sits right on top. White ash is a big U, okay? And the green ash is an oval. Bud sits on the top. And how I remembered that when I was 18 or 19, whenever I had this, the letter W itself has two deep notches in it. The one with the notches, white, is the white, the letter W. White, two notches, that's the one with the notch. The letter G, green, is kind of oval. Leaf scar is kind of oval. That's the green ash. This is what ash fruit looks like. And we just said ash fruit when we taught it. And I had you that day, right? I think. Mm -hmm. We said it looked like a busted canoe paddle. It has a blade, and then the, whoops, the handle was busted off. Green ash is very narrow, needle-like seed. That's green. White ash has a very plump, full, more stubby seed. So very long, needle-like seed cavity, green. And the white, very fat. You can obviously see a seed in the white. It's very dimensional. This is like just a little thin needle coming down. That's what you need to look for. Now, that we could be out in the woods, and we might actually, on a quiz, be taking either as correct, because we can't find any. And you write green ash, we give it to you. You write white ash, we give it to you. As long as you spell everything right. But you always want to give it the best estimate. Okay, don't just assume, well, you just take it either. You know, Because we might be picking up fruit. Uh, many, Literally, like with the TAs, like find, when I'm with them, I'll look at them and I'll say... I'll hold something up, and they're like, and that means, nope, we're taking green, or we're taking white only, because we found the stuff, and they're in agreement, like, oh, yeah, it's everywhere, all right? So always put your best estimate. Now, one last thing. If the twig, and we didn't really talk about this, but feel this twig, who's, someone who's up here, very, very waxy, right? If the twig is fuzzy, Velvety, fuzzy. If it is, it means it's automatically green. Some spe people even put that in another subspecies. Again, the ash taxonomy gets really weird. Right? But so if the, if it's an ash and the twig is fuzzy and it's just going to feel like velvet, it's green. But if it's not, keep looking. So what I'm telling you is not all the greens are fuzzy at all. And some people put that in another subspecies. Some books in the past have even had that as a different species. Uh, it's just kind of a mess. And I personally wish they would just put green and white ash together and get it all over with. Okay? Because there's, there's not that big of a difference.